Aloha and welcome back to the Long Dark Story Mode Redux. This is the 10th episode. Honestly, I'm about where I was the last time um, I played through this story mode, but I'm a lot more concerned with the story this time about. Oh, I can go in here. Didn't look like it for a second. Yes. Hope I can still eat this. It's sardines. You can technically eat it, I guess. Hey, when you're hungry. A lot of things can taste a lot better. I could use this. It's not better durability than the one I have. this anymore. Oh my goodness. This will come in handy. <sighs> Only do that if you really need too much stuff to carry water I cannot stress that enough no I want to tear those up How good? Nah, I don't care. I don't care enough. I really don't need that many cocktail heads. Uh, there. There. This is, in fact, a one-story house. Go. 
Cool. On to the farmhouse. I'm officially going farther than I had before in my story playthrough. Oh, that's an upturned tree. I thought it was a statue. I'm not used to that. That wolf would have already tagged me and started hunting me down. Truck seems to be dead. Engine won't even turn. Sign. That scarf wrapped around your arm. Where'd you get it? <laughs> You're never gonna find her. <laughs> what did you do to my friend? We burned them all, you know, in the old school. Scarf Lady found us while the school was burning. 
She tried to help get them out, but it was already too late. The smoke already hit him in. <clears throat> she fought like hell to try and get him out. She stuck a knife or a screwdriver, I'm not sure, into one of our guys. Cut me, too. And then ran out into the blizzard. <laughs> Tell me where she is. We caught up, but she's a fiery one. Still had the knife. You got me real good. You can see. Whoa! We tried to stop her, but she ended up on the bus. And somehow, she was small enough to crawl through the crushed part. She got away. Whatever good it's gonna do her. You so much as her. Ah, uh, we barely clipped her wings. She wasn't hurt too bad. Not hurt too bad. All right, she was bleeding. <coughs> A bit. You know the reality of it? Pushing the knife would save him. Pulling it is gonna kill him. You don't deserve help. But here. Ah, ah, oh. And now you're bleeding out. Oh, that's better. Now, I'll just sit here for a while. one way to put it. In reality, if you have knife, arrow, or whatever wound, um, pulling out said object is not actually being useful. the best of options. Um, the reason why is because if the knife, in this particular case, 
uh, is in there, that is preventing the blood from bleeding out. What I just did is effectively doom that guy to bleed out. I'm not gonna lie, it was very tempting to, like, really make him suffer. But... I could use this. What's the point? Interface is a little weird. Hope nobody needs this anymore. end up being useful. I am not sleeping in the same place as most likely a serial killer. It's just not gonna happen.
So I will catch you all in the next episode where I try to get the hell out of here. Until then, have fun, be safe, and aloha.